Should you build a personal brand when your business already has a brand? My friend, the answer is yes. Yes, you should be building a personal brand that is separate from the organization that you represent. And today I'm outlining six reasons why you should do so. Stick around. Hey everyone, it's Leanne, and one of the biggest questions I get around personal branding is if we should be creating a personal brand when the organization we work for already has a robust brand, or rather if we should be creating a brand around the business or product that we represent rather than putting the focus on ourselves. My friend, I'm here to share that both brands, a personal and an organizational brand, serve a function. An organization has a brand to show how much they care for their community, be it through their customer service, their CSR initiatives, or even the way that they treat their employees. But people like to buy from people. So you, as a service professional, you have a unique opportunity to set yourself apart from your competition and serve your ideal customers and clients through your personal brand. As a member of your organization, you can weave brand elements from your company's brand into your personal brand, but it is oh so powerful for you to carry a brand all your own. But before we look at these reasons, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that little bell to be notified of new content. I'm creating content around personal branding for the hospitality industry each and every week, and I don't want you to miss a thing. And stick around to the end of the video. I have one bonus reason why you should be creating your own brand, and this is something that your company can get on board with. Here is why you should be building a personal brand in collaboration with your organization's brand in hospitality. Reason number one, you create stronger relationships. Your authentic belief in your organization's brand will help you create more profitable relationships with your customers. But customers still like working with individuals and not corporations, and you are working as an extension of your organization, but you serve through your heart. Reason number two, it gives you exposure to outside opportunities. And outside opportunities doesn't necessarily mean outside of your organization, but it gives you the opportunity to explore different offers, perhaps internally or externally, or even contribute to thought leadership pieces, whether it's within your organization or within your industry. Reason number three, and this is a big one, so if you're multitasking, please come back to me. Reason number three is that you control the messaging. When you create your personal brand, your business is a small part of your overall brand message. And with you, when you have a brand, you control how you want to be perceived by the community and the industry by building your own brand. Reason number four, you are responsible for your own brand. As your business changes, or even as your job changes, your brand will change as well, and you're in control and decide how it wants to change with it. Reason number five, and this is another big one, you are not in control of the messaging behind your organization's brand. And without a strong personal brand behind you, you may be associated with the business brand, be it good, bad, or sometimes the unexpected ugly, when things happen. So if your organization's brand does something that misaligns with you and your customer's expectations, you're already positioned as someone who shares a certain belief and value system. It's something that you've promoted through your brand. So it'll be easier to make amends with your clients and customers when your brand is already established. Reason number six, your relationships go with you. As you eventually move on to different job opportunities, those relationships will follow and building community through your brand will help ensure that your clients and customers, well, they may just follow you to your next opportunity. And here is that bonus tip that I alluded to earlier. Organizations see individuals who develop a personal brand as being an asset for their organization. Whether current or future, businesses see the value of empowering their employees to develop a personal brand. 
It leads to better experiences for employees and better retention. Conversely, if a company doesn't see the value, there are other businesses that would be willing to partner with someone who is establishing a personal brand. Do you have questions about how to marry the two brands that you represent? Drop your questions or your comments below this video. I would love to hear from you. And if you're looking to grow your personal brand here in 2021, I recently published a few tips that you should keep in mind and you can find those tips right here. And finally, if you are looking to change up your brand or grow your brand, I created a personal branding quiz that you can take to gain insights into your brand and some next steps that you can take to, to grow your brand. I hope you enjoy the quiz. Thanks for watching this week's video, everyone. Best of luck as you create a strategy that marries your personal brand with your organizations. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.